Uh, well, good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number... You know what? I don't even know what episode number it is. Let me check uh, on here. 89! <laughs> That's the number of our F122 My Team Crew over Team Alpine. No. Team Chase Line. Alpine is F1 manager. We should know this by now. <laughs> we really should. And, and I mean that. We really, really should know it by now. But uh, thank you all uh, if you have uh, tuned in. You can see there we have one of the best cars on the field. In fact, you can see there every, everyone's just plateauing out. Sponsors all look uh, good there. If you missed the last race, <laughs> game over for Stappen. But we can still win the Constructors' title. We won't be able to do it this race. Well, we could. It'd be a madness if we did. But uh, we would need strong performances. And we need a, a Red Bull uh, mistake as well. Everyone scored a point as well. Even poor old Kevin Magson <laughs> down in P22. So, we have arrived then. Let's skip and advance that. So, let's go get practice and qualify. We'll see you for the Mexican Grand Prix. The forecast is for rain. That could make a very interesting uh, little race for everybody. It's time then for the Mexico City Grand Prix, a race which gave Honda their first ever victory in 1965. American Richie Ginter winning from third on the grid and what of the Honda powered cars this year? Red Bull have been strong here in recent seasons. Can they keep that record going today? 17 corners then at the auto drummer. Hermanos Rodriguez, 10 to the right and seven to the left, and all of them will have to be tackled in difficult wet conditions here today. No DRS assistance either, at least not for the start of the race, but the best overtaking opportunities will still be down into turn one or shortly after into turn four. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. The governess lines up on pole position edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Fernando Alonso, Charles Leclerc and Gasly, Perez, Stroll, Sonoda and Liam Lawson, Ocon, Sainz, Yuri Vips and Russell, Mick Schumacher, Oscar Piastri, Robert Schwartzman and Daniel Tictum, Magnussen, Joe, Albert and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who is beside me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about the governess. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. All right, folks, here's the rain. <laughs> oh, boy, P1. That's not going to help as much in uh, these conditions. That I can tell you now uh, for sure. It is, well, we shouldn't need a pit stop today. Shouldn't. But, uh, you know, these can, these are the kind of conditions she absolutely thrives in. And when she thrives in them, normally, we do good stuff as well. Then the formation lap has started, and I must say the weather conditions aren't the best today for visibility and grip. As each driver performs this lap, they'll be wanting to settle in and concentrate. This race and these conditions will require a lot of focus. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. Okie dokie, I don't expect much to happen here in Mexico with this rain coming down, but we will see, shall we, as the lights go 
out and away we go down to the first corner. It's going to be a very long run. But if anyone uh, can look at all the action, got Verstappen has got the jump on Jackie. That's not good, mind you. It doesn't matter now because the uh, championship's over there, son. <laughs> I, I still feel like bursting into that. We are the champion, my friend. And we... No, I'm going to stop uh, singing that or else I'll get... Um, YouTube overlords uh, knocking on my door. Speaking of recent news, uh, Susan, what's her face, has uh, stepped down. Good. Absolute GG's dub win. E everything else uh, in between. The best news we c everyone could have heard all day because, let's be quite honest, she was absolutely useless. Absolutely useless, and I can say that with a smile on my face. What else I can say with a, a smile on my face is that uh, Jackie's in P3. She's chasing down Alonso and Verstappen here. And if anyone uh, is able to chase them down, it's this girl in uh, the wet weather. Because she is a wet weather uh, experto, as uh, they say. Oh, oh my god, she's practically pushing him, Alonso into the stadium section. How quick is this girl? I think the answer to that question is quite or very, we will also accept. But uh, meanwhile, let's go on to the, well, a little bit further on the, in this uh, race. This is the start of lap number two. And Dan Tictum in the Haas is chasing down, uh, well, I think he's chasing down Guan Yu Zhou. He's not chasing down Guan Yu Zhou because, uh, I, I, is that Aston Martin? I cannot tell. I cannot tell because, uh, oh, oh there's Zhou. Joe's uh, come from behind. Not that Joe ever did that before uh, at uh, Chase Liner. Where's that uh, all of a sudden come from there, Guan Yu Zhou? Let's see what happens down into Turn 4. Nothing much uh, happens down into Turn 4, but uh, meanwhile up at the front on lap number 4, coming through the S section. Oh, that, this is a strong S section from Jackie. Verstappen is pulled away, and she needs to get clear of this Ferrari, because this Ferrari is holding her up big time. Look at how much she is being forced off the track down the inside into the stadium section. Thank you very much. GG, thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, Fernando. We will be seeing you, sir. So long, farewell, lovey. There's a adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you. And speaking of you, what is Charles Leclerc doing that far down? And Carlos Sainz, actually. Did they have contact on the first lap, which brought them in? It doesn't uh, really matter because Leclerc is going to breeze past this uh, Williams here down into turn. Well, I don't actually know what turn this is, but it's the corner into the stadium section. And that uh, should be G. Look at the rain pouring on this Alfa Romeo. It's a great view of the stadium as well as you come into it uh, here. I think he's uh, got his man, is it? Has he? It's not quite GG's yet uh, for Alex Albon, but I think it may be uh, GG's in a second because uh, he may find himself last with that Ferrari uh, right up his rear end down the main straight. Oh, Albon, though, he's going to come back at Leclerc. Albon's going to come back at Leclerc. Leclerc's like, what is going on here? We may almost have three wide uh, going into turn one, two, and three. And Albon, oh, a bit of contact there between uh, Albon and Leclerc. We're getting fresh with each other in... Uh, Mexico and Leclerc is going to take that, hold that position uh, I should say that indeed uh, was uh, GG's uh, there and it's going to be uh, even more GG's later in uh, lap 9 when uh, Carlos Sainz does the same thing to Alex Albon down to turn, I, I've got to get my uh, turns uh, done so right speaking uh, speaking of uh Right, uh, F123, when that uh, comes out, I'm thinking of keeping the same format. But would you also like to see a hot lap of the circuit as well? Let me know if uh, you want to see a hot lap of the circuit uh, to give you all uh, an idea of the general uh, overlay of the circuit. As uh, we got Max Verstappen, Jackie's been catching Verstappen hand over fist. And it's not because Verstappen is slow, it's just because Jackie is so good in these uh, interchangeable wet weather conditions. I, I, I hope that uh, Verstappen doesn't mess it up here. Oh, that was a little twitch. Oh, oh he's a man! He's uh, aggressive! Oh, he's into the wall! Oh, everybody laugh at Verstappen! Oh, he, he has absolutely messed it up. GG, thanks for playing. 
We'll be seeing you all. Thank you kindly. Oh, he's almost got into the back of Perez. Ah, oh, you stuff you love to see. That right there. Yes, yeah, Stroll and Gasly got very uh, close to each other. Let's have another look at uh, this one here. I, I literally whole heard every single one of my channel cheer when this happened. Oh, that was a bit of a hefty whack into the wall as well. So long there, Verstappen. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> well, talk about the easiest of dubs because uh, she was miles ahead of uh, what's his name for the Alonso. And uh, that could uh, carry on. But meanwhile, on to lap number 12 and George Russell. He's like, whoa, Perez really squeezed George onto the grass there. I think George, oh my God, he got it crossed up going into turn one. I think George did not appreciate that. He's going to take his uh, frustrations out on the inside of turn three. Thank you very much for playing there, uh, Sergio. That's George up in a P7, if uh, you don't mind me saying so. Although Perez looks like he's going to come back in turn four and George gives him the squeeze back. That's what I like. Oh, he's locked it up a little bit though. Oh, we'll uh, let him have that one. Meanwhile, Mick Schumacher. Mick's not really had uh, what you'd call a uh, race to remember, shall we say. And, oh, that's not a attack. Oh, that's an engine blow up. Well, that was probably for the best. <laughs> that was probably for the best there. Uh, that's unfortunate. That is uh, very... Oh, we're under virtual safety car as well. But uh, nothing much uh, happened after that. Nothing much uh, happened after uh, that one. Where is Jackie? There she is. Coming out of the heavy spray and rain down to the first corner. You can see that all she's done since is extend that gap out to Alonso to 16 and a half seconds. This girl in the rain is literally next level. You know how they call Mako Satamora the final boss in uh, wrestling? Well, this is this right here is the final boss in uh, motor racing. You got Verstappen, then you think, oh, you've beat Verstappen, no problem. And now you got Jackie there. <laughs> that that's how uh, good it is. Coming to uh, turn six and seven, <sighs> and then down to the S section. She'll be back in it way, way back in the S section through turn seven. Turn 8, turn 9, and then into turns 10 and 11. She backed it. Oh, she got it all crossed up there. She'll, uh, <laughs> she don't mind uh, that one. Down to turn 12. And then into 13, 14, and 15. And then the Peralta corner. 13, well, four, yeah, 14, 15. And then the Peralta corner out of the final corner. GG's, everybody. Thanks for playing. Chase line at number 69 is going to win the Mexican Grand Prix. Thank you very much. Absolutely I would say Just that would, would probably go down well as one of the easiest victories uh, she has had this season. That's up there with the Canadian Grand Prix, if you uh, remember that one. George Russell, driver of the day. I'd give it to George. Why not? That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack. And having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. Here ah. comes the top three. I Making never get tired of this podium walk. I don't think we'll ever get tired of uh, this podium walk. Yeah, do the gritty. The most toxic celebration in FIFA. Do the gritty. And throw that trophy in the air. Woohoo! That's what we're talking. What is Arav doing in our bloody thing again? I swear Arav is coming to check out the competition. I'd be worried if it was Ben. That's uh, for sure. Anyway, you know what it's time for now. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly.
Let's focus on driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, there's no question in my mind, it has to go to George Russell. What a performance. He's got every right to be proud of what he accomplished out there today. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Indeed, and it's uh, the Brazil race uh, next. Oh, it's not Brazil, sorry, it's Portugal. Ah, oh, Portugal's next. Nice, we get to do, uh, we get to race Portimao. That's uh, what we're talking about. GG, thanks for playing, everybody. Jackie wins the uh, Mexican Grand Prix for Fernando Alonso, Lando Norris, Hollywood Landstroll, Pierre Gasly for Stappen in P6. Uh, George Russell, yeah, George is the Earth driver today. Four up seven spots to P7. Perez, Sonoda and Piastri are uh, top 10. Uh, Mick, the engine let him down. And we apologise for that one because, uh, let's be honest, Mick's been an absolute cracking teammate since he uh, came into Chase Liner. Can't uh, fault him one bit. Uh, I think then we'll uh, we'll go wrap up. Uh, don't think we could have asked for any better there. What do you all think? That, that just worked out absolutely perfectly. And I mean absolutely perfectly. This week's income from the sponsor. Yeah, morning. And we're making good profit against so, oh, it's costs. Portugal next. Ah, oh, I forgot we put the Portuguese Grand Prix. Let's put some weight training in for uh, Mick. I forgot we put the Portuguese Grand Prix in next for you all. <laughs> you're going to enjoy this track. Anyone who's not seen Portimao, you're going to enjoy this track because this track is a full-on roller coaster. What we got customization-wise? Oh, we got a new uh, radio call. Hi, oh yeah, flag. hi checkered flag. Bye checkered flag. Bye, flag. <laughs> oh, as you can tell, I'm having fun. I'm having some fun right now. So we haven't won the constructors yet. We've got uh, a 96 point gap to Red Bull. Could win it a port about potentially. But we've got to see which Red Bull turns up. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Back tomorrow with F1 uh, Manager 22, the Mexican Grand Prix. And back on Thursday with the Portuguese Grand Prix on F1 22. So uh, we'll see you all tomorrow, everybody. Bye.